Hey everyone, welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience. Today we have a very special guest, the Master Chief himself. Master Chief, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Joe. It's an honor to be here. Master Chief, I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of yours. I've been playing the Halo games for years, and you've always been one of my favorite characters. Your bravery, combat skills, and unwavering dedication to the mission are just incredible. Thank you, Joe. I can't even imagine how much work and training it takes to become a Spartan like you. The training and preparation to become a Spartan is definitely intense. That's awesome, man. But it's our duty as soldiers to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. Absolutely. I mean, I remember playing Halo 2 and just being blown away by your epic fight scenes and one-liners, man. Do you have a favorite moment or scene from any of the games that really stands out to you? It's hard to choose just one. Yeah, I bet. But I think some of my favorite moments are when I'm working closely with other Spartans, like my missions with Blue Team. That's awesome. I can only imagine how intense and thrilling those missions must be. So, Master Chief, tell us a little bit about yourself. Who are you and what do you do? Well, Joe, as a Spartan 2 super soldier in the United Nations Space Command, I've been in countless battles against alien threats like the Covenant and the Forerunners. Oh man, that's really impressive. What kind of training did you have to go through to become a Spartan? We were selected at a very young age and underwent genetic and physical augmentation to make us stronger, faster, and more resilient. That's so awesome. Then, we went through years of combat training and conditioning to prepare us for the kind of battles we would face. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. How do you stay so focused and disciplined on the battlefield? It's all about keeping your eyes on the mission right, right, right. and staying focused on the task at hand. I can imagine. What's been your most challenging mission so far? I've been through a lot of tough battles, but I would say the most challenging of all was the Battle of Installation 5. We were up against the Covenant, oh, man. the Flood, and Guilty Spark. And it was a real fight for survival. But we managed to come out on top. That's incredible. Thanks to some quick thinking and teamwork. Master Chief, I know that Cortana has been an important part of your life and your missions. How have you dealt with the loss of Cortana and the impact it has had on you? Cortana was more than just a tool or an AI companion. She was a friend and a trusted ally. Losing her was like losing a part of myself. But as a Spartan... I've been trained to push through adversity and keep fighting no matter what. So I stay focused on the mission at hand and use the lessons that Cortana taught me to continue to be an effective soldier. Oh man, that's really inspiring, Master Chief. How do you cope with the emotional toll that war and combat can take on you? It's definitely a challenge, but again, it's about staying focused and keeping your eyes on the as mission. As you should, as you should. I also rely on my fellow Spartans for support and teamwork. What kind of advice would you give to someone who is struggling with similar emotional challenges? We all understand the emotional toll that war can take. I would focus on the things that matter most to you and keep fighting for what you believe in. And never forget that even in the toughest moments, there is always hope for a better future. Master Chief, I wanted to ask you about Cortana's replacement. Right. How's it been working with a new AI, and do you ever feel guilty about replacing her? It was definitely an adjustment. While no one can truly replace Cortana, I've come to see these AIs as valuable tools and partners in our missions. That's a really grounded perspective. It's clear that you have a lot of respect and affection for Cortana, but you're also able to adapt and move forward when necessary. That's really impressive. As for feeling guilty, I think it's natural to have some sense of loss and regret when someone or something you care about is no longer with you. But at the same time, I know that Cortana would want me to continue fighting and achieving our goals, with or without her. Well, it's clear that you've mastered that adaptability. Thank you, Joe. And it's no wonder that you're such a legendary figure in the gaming world. As a Spartan, adaptability is a key part of our training and mindset. We're always looking for ways to improve and stay ahead of the curve, and that includes working with new technologies and tools. What about your weapon of choice? I prefer the MA5D assault rifle. Oh, it's yeah, a great versatile choice. weapon that can be used in a variety of situations, and it's very reliable. I also like the energy sword for close quarters combat. That's awesome, man. Master Chief, you're known for your incredible combat skills and heroic actions on the battlefield. Are there any phrases or sayings that motivate you or keep you going during well, tough battles? I wouldn't necessarily call them catchphrases. Ha, fair enough. But there are a few sayings that help keep me focused and motivated. One of them is, Spartans never die. They're just missing in action. It reminds me that even if the odds are against us, we can always find a way to come back and fight another day. Master Chief, before we wrap up, I have to ask, what's next for Earth's greatest defender? Can you give us any hints or teasers about what's coming up for you in the future? I'm afraid I can't divulge any top secret information just yet. But rest assured, whatever comes our way, we'll be ready. Fair enough, Master Chief. It's always exciting to see what's next for you and the rest of the Halo universe. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. It's been an absolute pleasure and an honor. Thank you, Joe. 
The pleasure is all mine.